What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirts, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Way Basketball Now says I'm going to check out the video. What's good, YouTube? Quinn Way Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with that video. We're going to talk about the Miami Heat and Josh Richardson. And the only reason why I want to talk about him is because I done seen a significant change in his role and his playing style. And I'm not saying that he never played like this before, but I see a lot of potential, as you see in the title, of uh, him being a, a all-star. And it's mainly because they need him to do more and they are allowing him to be himself and do more. You know, when you go put in the work in the off season, you have to show the coach what you have learned, what you have developed. And then they will have to trust you to go out there and, you know, put the ball in your hand and do it. And I like that Josh Richardson, he knew um, that he got paid and he knew he wanted to be better. He was a guy that a lot of people put in that Jimmy Butler trade because he holds value. He's a guy that can play the two or the three. He can switch a lot of positions. And, you know, he, he's athletic, he's mobile, and he's lanky. And that's where the NBA is going right now. But not only that, he's a decent scorer. Yeah, he can play on the ball. Yeah, he can play off the ball. Yeah, he's not the greatest shooter ever, but he shows, you know, flashes of being a solid player. Um, he definitely shot four threes last year, and he shot 37% from three last year. He still was able to give you 45 points a game. But this year, um, you know, he just turned 25 in September. He, he He's a guy that really can improve a lot more. Um, and the only way he can really improve a lot, he has to go out there and do it. And I like Josh Richardson running the point. He was coming up, running a lot of the fast breaks. Um, he was coming up, bringing up the ball, let, playing with Tyler Johnson, playing with sometimes with Dragic, sometimes he even played with Dwayne Wade. And this shows you the versati versatility of what he can do. But he's more comfortable. Um, he's not panicking. He's not trying too hard. He's just coming down, reading the defense, seeing how he can attack it, seeing where the hole's at in the defense, and that's what the veteran players do. The players that are great continue to add to their game. They continue to adjust. They continue to work on their game throughout the season and, you know, go into practice and come into the games and utilize it. It's just up to your coach to really give you the, the, the green light to do it. And I definitely can see – Josh Richardson being the reason why they don't get Jimmy Butler because they see the potential of what he can become. Now, he is younger than Jimmy Butler, and he's not better than Jimmy Butler. And he may never be um, as good as Jimmy Butler, but when you think about giving up him and other assets, especially the young assets, you have to start thinking about Jimmy Butler is a free agent. And on top of that, can is he worth that money? Is he worth a four-year deal with the bad knees? And can he really carry us to a championship as the best player? Now, I think Jimmy Butler could, depending on the personnel and the coach. But at the same time, you may not be able to get that personnel or coach, but you still have a guy like Josh Richardson that has untapped potential at 25. And he's showing that he can be, you know, the modern day shooting guard, the modern day small forward, ones that can handle the ball, bring up the ball, make plays in the pick and roll, make plays. You know, getting his teammates involved. He was making good kickout passes. He was running the floor, diving to, I mean, dumping it off to certain players, making sure the ball was moving, whether he was creating a shot or just making sure his open teammate got the ball. He was playing as a team player. And, you know, I think he can average 20 points a game. They're going to need somebody on this team to score. Dwayne Wade is not the same Dwayne Wade. Dragic was an all-star, but he's going to need help. Hassan Whiteside has not lived up to the contract, and he was never really known as a scoring center anyway. And then you look at the rest of this roster. Who are you going to manufacture? Who is going to really get you the points? Who you trust the most getting a lot of these shots? And you, you start looking down the roster, and then you start realizing that, you know, this guy is giving me two assists a game for the last – three years almost, which um, if you include this year, it will be two assists because I don't see why he wouldn't. 
Um, and he can give me decent rim protection at that position. He can play in the passing lanes, and he's a great help defender. And on top of that, you know, he's going to get a lot of minutes. We need somebody that's as versatile as him to give us a great chance of winning. And, you know, if they can run him throughout this season, transition, and get easy opportunities, he's athletic enough to get it done. And that's one thing that I would definitely say about Josh Richardson is his ceiling can be very high. Right now he's averaging 25.5, I mean 24.5 points a game. I don't expect him to be a 30-point scorer, obviously. But when you look at this roster, you have Wayne Ellington, you have Derrick J- Jones Jr., you have Kelly Olenek, you have um, Deion Waiters, and Justice Winslow. You really look at this roster, you just see Gordon Dr- Dragic, Deion Waiters, and Dwayne Wade as very good shot creators and ball handlers. And after that, Justice Winslow is not a great ball handler at this point. Yeah, he can get to the paint, but he's not a great scorer. He's not a great playmaker at that position. And yeah, he can play multiple, but he's not a great enough scorer. He doesn't have the 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 ability to do that right now. Now, maybe in the future, you can play Justice Winslow and ideally Josh Richardson at the two and the three or even the four and have lanky, long, but they have to be able to shoot. They have to be able to score. And it seems like Josh Richardson, he's doing that stop and pop mid-range. He, he's pulling up for the spot up three. Um, he's getting out in transition, getting layups and dunks. And if he can get easy baskets like that while also still reading the defense and making the right plays and making sure he hasn't that mentality that I don't have to always score. And he can kick it out, dump it off, or even just make the extra pass like he's been doing. He's going to make this team a lot harder to guard. He's going to make this team a lot more versatile. And that's a guy that you want to get 35 to 40 minutes because he's the most valuable player. And I thought... Eventually, Josh Richardson and when they drafted Justice Winslow, that they could become all-star caliber players because of the team back then. They needed talent. They needed wing depth. And now they have some decent guards and some decent forwards. But Josh Richardson is the best one they have available. And that's why you hear him come up mostly in all the trade talks because, to me, he is their most valuable asset on this roster currently. And you you want to get as much value out of him but for them to pay him eight million dollars and if he can give you 21 22 points a game because he gets more shots because he gets more free throw attempts and you you run the offense through him more which means his usage rate is going to go up which gives him more opportunities to attack the basket and get other shots um throughout the season i don't see why josh richardson can't be a most improved candidate i don't see why josh richardson can't be a 20-point scorer on a team like this. Um, And if you would have told me that going into the season, I wouldn't have called you crazy, but I would have been a little skeptical. Can Josh Richardson give me 20 points? Can I rely on him to be a great scorer throughout this whole season? And then the more I thought about it, it's like, yeah, I I think on this roster, Josh Richardson can be the 1B to another player. Like, if Gordon Dragon is your best player, he showed that he can get you to the playoffs. But if Josh Richardson can be your best scorer and your best player, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of mind-blowing. You would never think of that. But considering that Josh Richardson only averaged 13 points a game, but he only took 10 shots a game, you would think that, hey, we need help. We need somebody that can create shots. We need somebody to take over games. We have a guy that's long, lanky, and he has a decent jump shot. Plus, you know, he can give him some easy opportunities. If he can get 15 to 16 shots a game on his roster, I don't see why Josh Richardson can't be an all-star. The only thing that can really stop him from getting to that all-star level is his efficiency. Can he get more shot attempts, get more minutes, stay in the rotation without getting tired, without getting fatigued, and can he knock down shots consistently? That's what changes the great, the good to the great. Can you continually do this on a regular basis? Can you be consistent, um, getting 21, 22 points guaranteed every night? You have the opportunity. You have a team that needs you to do it. You have a team that's looking for a second star, and they don't have that currently. Why you can't develop into it? Why you can't be that guy? And more, the more and more I've seen him play these last two games, I'm starting to see that he can do it. It just continue to have that confidence. It's continuing to have the ability to you know take the shots 
And if he do it, he, he can put up the numbers. Now, can he do it efficiently? Can he do it consistently? That's something that he hasn't been able to do throughout his whole career. That's something that he has never done since he's been in the NBA. But one thing I can definitely say is this is the year to try it. The, the Heat has the same roster the last couple years, and they had the ceiling of being just a seven seed. Um, at the max, be an eight seed. I mean, at, be at, at the max, be a six or a seven seed. So I still think that this team has some untapped potential, obviously in Winslow, obviously in Bam, obviously in Tyler Johnson. But they're going to need somebody to really help out Goran. As Dwayne Wade got older, he's not that guy anymore, and he's coming off the bench. And, you know, this is not his time anymore. He had his time to be great. He had his time to be dominant, and he did it. Now it's time to find that next guy, trade for that next guy, sign that next guy, or find him through the draft. Or maybe it's just time to give other players opportunities to be the focal point of the offense and see what you have. Maybe Josh Richardson can, maybe he can't, but you won't know until you allow him to play his game, to, to allow to show his mature maturation, to allow him to show that he can score and get to the paint and, and knock down pull-ups and spot up threes throughout the rest of the season. And he can be one of the better 3 and D guys. But now it's about building upon that and giving him more of a role. You paid him, you committed to him. Now it's time to see, can you get the most value out of your dollar by giving him a bigger role? And if you do, maybe you can have another all-star alongside Gordon Drakic, and maybe you can have a, a guy that can be a great two-way player for you. Maybe not top 10, but maybe a top 15, top 25 player. And if he can be that, then the Heat will be even more harder to guard, and they'd be more, you know, better than they was the last couple of years just because of development and just because they're getting – better out of they getting better value out of the players that they paid this is a team that stayed pat this is a team that didn't make any big moves this is a team without a superstar but if you can get two players at the all-star level like josh richardson and gordon Dragic, this team maybe can have a higher ceiling and maybe they can be a tougher team to beat um if these guys continue to develop and they start to get better on um, even if they can trade hassan white side eventually and use that cap space to sign somebody else then you have Josh Richardson and another player that can really, you know, probably take you further in the playoffs and get you a better seed. But until then, it's about developing the young talent around you, getting the best out of them, trusting them, watching the development process, and allowing them to play in the game and, and, and show their maturation. And Josh Richardson this year, the first two games, I'm liking the direction he's going in. I'm liking his confidence. And I'm liking that Eric Sposa is trusting him, allowing him, and seeing that he can be a better player and he can do more. But he's not trying to take that away from him. He's not trying to hold that back. He's allowing him to, to get a bigger role. And that may allow him to be an all-star if he can get his efficiency up and if he can stay consistent and confident throughout this season. I don't see why he can't give you 21 points a game with a team with only one all-star. And the all-star that they had was an all-star after a, he was an injury replacement. So that shows you that they really need somebody to take that mantle. They really need somebody that wants to throw. They really need somebody that really wants to be the best player on his team. As Gordon Draghi just starting to get old, older, who are you going to pass the torch to? It looks like it ain't going to be Hassan Whiteside, so you got to give it to somebody else. Why not Josh Richardson, a guy that everybody think is good, everybody think can play, everybody starting to get respect for around the league. Why can't he be that guy? And now it's just about wanting it, putting in the work, and, 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 and continually to do it on a daily basis as much as you can, and that can get him to where he wants to go. But until then, all you can do is watch. All we can do is see, and all we can do is see if they can win with Josh Richardson taking more shots, and can he do it consistently throughout these daily games. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Josh Richardson can be an all-star? Do you think he's just going to be a 3 and D guy? Do you think he should get a bigger role? Do you think he should get more more shots? Do you think he should be, try to become the best player on his team as Dwayne Wade and Dragic are getting older and Hassan Whiteside showed that he's not going to be capable of doing it? Can he carry an offense? Is he overrated? Is he underrated? Or do you think that they should continue to try to find that guy through the draft or try to continue? They're cap strapped right now, so they can't really sign anybody. But eventually, they're going to have to find that star, whether it's developing them, whether it's drafting them, whether it's trading for them, or whether if it's just allowing the player that they signed to these contracts the last couple of years to eventually take that throne from Goran Dragic. 
If until then they're gonna be searching for that next all star, searching for that next superstar, and they might already have it in Josh Richardson. Do you think that, or do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm going too far, or do you see the potential just like everybody else that Josh Richardson can be an all star shooting guard in this league? Like I said, I never thought Kyle Korver would be an all star. I never thought that Jeff T would be an all star because they was great in their roles. They did what they were supposed to do, but they didn't play at a great dominant level. Maybe they can do that. Um, here in Miami. So check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Also check out my spread shirt. There you can find t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, and even accessories like cell phone cases, water bottles, and even pillowcases. Uh, thanks for supporting the brand. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching on Facebook. Thanks for binge watching all my older videos. And also thanks for, you know, watching my newer videos and staying up to date. I try hard. I continue to watch basketball and I also continue to put it into work. But, you know, I do this because I love to do it. I enjoy to do it. And you guys enjoy watching. I enjoy making them. Playing way basketball analysis. I'm gone. And let me know, can Josh Richardson be that guy? Or just be a role player. Or maybe he can just be an all-star role player. We don't know. But let me know what you guys think. In the comment section below. I'm gone.